Hi, welcome back to Biz on Wheels. I'm Janetta Yeller. And I'm Ron Yeller. We are here to introduce you to this beautiful food truck that we have just built. Ron, tell me a little bit about this food truck. This is an 18-foot step van F59 brand new truck that we completely converted from ground up. Explain to me about the LED lights that I see above this truck. These LED modules, they're pretty much all around the truck. Front, back, side, we will show it in the video. They can be in daylight as bright as you see it. It doesn't matter if it's a very bright light outside. These LED lights built to be outdoor and they can be controlled by a computer. So you can pretty much do anything you want on the LED, any kind of pictures, any kind of information, live upload. That sounds very interesting, honey. Explain to me about the windows that we have here. So yeah, you have a 10 foot awning window here and then under it, you have two menu screens. So once you open it, you have your menus on this side. On that side, you have your serving window. Where you see the plug right here is going to be an iPad for ordering. This is a POS system. iPad is going to be installed and we're not completely done with the truck. We're doing some more in and out. Mm. So explain to me what's going on on this end. This is what's called a storyboard. This is a story of the company product. Once we open that, it will show exactly what the company does. On this side with the serving window, you have a serving shelf. As you know, trucks are taller than trailers. So we need a serving shelf. When you give you the food, you can pretty much put it on a shelf. This light equipped with LEDs all around, and I'm not talking about the LED screens, I'm talking about LED lights. They have floodlights all around the truck, back, front, side. And also you got LED modules in the windows, the bright, the, the storyboards, and the menu area. Mm -hmm. So what is this flap that is hanging on the edge of the This is a marquee style window. You can pretty much flip the front of the window and show the name of the company. And we can show it in a second how we do it. You have to take it down and flip it up. Mm -hmm. uh, on this side, you have the propane tanks of the truck. You have two 29 gallon undermount propane tank, each one. Oh, wow. Propane tank one, propane tank two. Oh, wow, interesting. On that side, you have the waste valve, so you can empty your wastewater for the waste tanks. You can empty it from there. And then we're gonna show the other side how you fill up the water tanks. So now we're here in front of this beautiful truck that Ron just built. So explain to me about the LED lights once more. So this LED module, as you see the side, is on the front as well. The reason is it tilted forward a little, backward a little bit, is because we have to make the extension for wind to go over it and doesn't block it, it doesn't make noise on driving. So this is actually a little bit tilted backward, as you see. We're not completely done. On this side, there's gonna be a glass to protect the screens on the front and the glass will be removable for cleaning. Oh. That's what we're gonna do Monday. Very interesting. So, basically you're saying once they're driving down the highway that the wind won't compress against the screen for damages. Correct, damages and noise, and this is why it's tilted a little bit backward. Well, let me tell you, this is the first of its kind, honey. You really did a wonderful job. Yeah, this is I'm no many excited. trucks are this out there. This is, I think, one of a kind. Uh, no many trucks out there have this amount of LED screens. Well, I'm going to tell you, they're going to be surprised once they see this puppy get out on the road. Oh yeah, big time. So as we walk around this truck, explain to me a little more details about what's going on on the other side of this vehicle. So right here you have the plug-in, you can plug the truck into electric. Of course you have a generator as well. This is like we, now we are plugging into power something you can do with the generator or either one. What type of power? This is a 240 volt 50 amp plug-in, but we have an adapter so we can run 120 volt for small appliances as well. Right, so if they were at home, they could run it from their house? Yes, they can plug it to a regular plug and run refrigeration. Okay, inside. great. So this truck is gasoline, it's not diesel. The generator is diesel. This way you have a diesel fuel tank. Of course, on the inside you have a gauge, you can see how much fuel you have, so you know how much fuel you got in the generator. This tank will give you around 18 hours straight running on this fuel tank. What makes this better than a diesel truck? You know, uh, diesel trucks are built to run a lot more mileage than a gas truck. Usually food trucks don't really do a lot of mileage as a diesel truck. Diesel trucks are more built for FedEx, UPS, very hard environment of working. Food trucks just go from A to B. They don't really need a diesel engine. Mm -hmm. It's all an amount of pricing at the end of the day. Diesels are more expensive trucks. 
Well, that's good for our customers to understand that part. There is batteries right inside. These batteries are operating the LED floodlights. All the LED floodlights are operating on battery, not on generator. Mm -hmm. Once you plug it in or run the generator, it will charge the battery automatically. And there is a second battery that connected to the generator, so they separate. Nice. All right. So I guess this is self-exclamatory. This is where the gas, where they fill up. This is the gas for the truck itself. Ah, I got that one. This mark is only the gas. All right, honey. Explain to me what is in this casing here. This is one of the most important components in this truck. This is a diesel Cummins Onen 12K diesel generator. It's very quiet, very easy to operate. You can operate from inside or outside. It's just a push of a button, the generator will come on. It's very quiet. Also, the way we install it, it installed on a sliding mechanism. Mm -hmm. So if the generator ever break down, you just pull a pin out, and the whole unit will slide out. You can do the repair, slide it back in, and lock it in place. Well, that's very easy, especially for maintenance. Correct. Now we're in the back of the vehicle. Explain to me, how do you get up in this vehicle? Since the truck is very high on the back, and you have to enter the back, we made a fall down step. It's fall down step, fall down. And you have a non-slippery material as well, so you're not gonna fall. Mm. And then you have a screen door and a door as well. So you have a door, entry door, and a second door, screen door, so you can operate with the door open and the okay. screen on. As you guys can tell, we have the LED lights going all the way around this vehicle. They're also located in the back of this vehicle as well. So we're going to venture into this beautiful kitchen that Ron has built, and he's going to take it from there. Explain to me a little bit more details about this kitchen that we're standing in. So you see you have a cabinet right there with a drop-in, three compartment sink, and an end washer sink. This is on-demand propane water heater. As soon as you turn the hot water on, it will kick in immediately, you're gonna have water at 120 degrees instantly. So yeah, the, this is a drop-in sink. As you see, the generator on the outside, the generator is actually located right there on the bottom. And then above it, there's a cabinet, and then we put the sinks over it to use the space. So here the cabinets can be used for, of course, the plumbing and storage for some chemicals. So you want to hide some stuff. This is some winterizing parts we have to do and you have the valve to open and turn the propane for the water heater as well. So right here you have two deep fryers. They're actually four deep fryer, but each one is two. This is very high-end deep fryer. It's made by Vulcan. What's so unique about these fryers that you don't see in normal food trucks, uh, it's have a built-in filtration system. The meaning of it, this fire will filter the oil and bring it up clean automatically. No matter, all oil going to this bucket right there automatically with the pump, it gets filtered, it go up to the fryer, you have clean oil so you can reuse the oil instead of dumping away. That is wonderful. Everybody likes to conserve. So explain to me about what's above us here. This is a hood system. It's mandatory when you have cooking equipment. It's all up to code. This is hood commercial equipment. You have fire suppression built into it. So this is your nozzle for the fire suppression. In case of a fire, this will automatically will shut the fire off. This is where the tank is located in the control center mm -hmm. for, the, for the fire suppression. So are all states have to have fire suppression systems or just certain ones? Some states only. Some states require, some do, some do not. Mm -hmm. uh, we are licensed for that so we can do either way. It's just a matter of what the state regulations are. Exactly. What about this one here? Right there is your window. Under the window you have an under counter drink cooler. The refrigerator and grab a drink and can serve it to the customer. Oh, I have to try this. Hello, how can I help you? From Biz on Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> So explain to me what's going on on this side. This is a side-by-side -side refrigerator. This is actually not a two-door refrigerator. It's two separate refrigerators. Oh, wow. The reason we do it, we like to have two compressors, two units mm. separate. One break down, the other one can run. Wow. So this is refrigerator number one. Oh, great. And this is refrigerator number two. Oh, I love it. So I see here they have a prep table. Mm -hmm. It's a sandwich prep table. It's a 12 
compartment on the top, you have 12 topping area, and of course a refrigerator on the bottom. Wow, these people will never run out of refrigerator room. <laughs> okay, explain to me this. This is an under-counter freezer. It's a small under-counter freezer. The reason it's located here because they do small frying items that come frozen. From here, it goes straight to the fryer. Wow, great. And that is wonderful. And all the wonderful. cabinets, as you see, all these cabinets slam, close automatically. You have shelf in the middle, actually. You can adjust the shelf. You have two shelves in the middle. All these cabinets are the same way. You can lock all these cabinets. Another cool thing about this cabinet, if you don't want to use it as a cabinet and you want it to be a shelf, mm -hmm. it's very easy. You literally just move the door. Oh my God. And then it's become an open shelf. Wow, that is very nice, honey. I like it. <laughs> you think about everything. Yeah, I know it is. That is very interesting. So explain to me about this plug outlet. Okay, so of course you have a bunch of plugs here. The reason you see this internet plug in, they have the ability to have a POS located in the window, mm -hmm. plug it into the internet, and you can have a printer print for the chef the order on tickets. Oh wow. Just it's like a real IT. restaurant. Wow, that is amazing. So explain to me about the floors. So this is an aluminum diamond plate flooring. It's of course, it's installed in a manner so water cannot get under it. It's actually glued to the damping piece between the truck and the diamond plate. You literally can wash this truck all day long. It's sealed tight. Oh, great. And what about the gas hookup? So yeah, the, the propane tanks are under the truck, of course. Mm -hmm. All the lines are running up the code in a safe area. And then you have your manifold right here to control all the deep fryers. Each fryer got its own valve on off. It's right on the tip of your legs. So you can shut it off and on. And then the valve next to it is emergency shut off. If the fire suppression engaging, it will cut the gas off completely. Part of the code we have to do. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go take a look in the captain's quarters. Let's do this. There's a lot of equipment to show. Alrighty. So now we're in the captain's quarter, my favorite place to be. So explain to me about the captain's quarter. So yeah, we, we move all the electronics to the front cab, so it'll be separate from the kitchen. We want this area to be the control center. This is your panel. You can literally, every piece of equipment on this truck have delicate breaker. I can actually control what is on and what is off. That's why you get so many breakers here. We have uh, 24 circuits right there. Every piece of equipment, the reason we do that, so when you plug the truck into electric, you can control what you want to leave on at night and what you want to have off. And at the same time, we can divide the electrical power evenly by doing that. So explain to me what all these buttons go to. I love pushing buttons and I would like to know what all this stuff goes to. Okay, so right there, this switch right there, it will switch between generator power and plug in. Mm -hmm. I can switch it, plug it into electric or switch it, turn the generator on, it divides the power. Right here, you have the remote control for the generator. Uh -huh. Like the one I show you outside, you can crank it. I can literally crank it from inside. I just push the button. The only thing you're gonna hear is a small vibration. It's coming on, generator oh, wow. is on, and then you switch the power to generator power. Right here, you have your fuel for the generator. I can turn the switch on and you see how much fuel I have in a diesel tank for the generator because it's separate from the truck. The truck is gasoline. Right. On this side, you have your wastewater level that is empty, mm -hmm. and then your fresh water level that is halfway probably. It's a 40 gallon fresh, 50 gallon waste. Nice. Right here, this is all the 12 volt power. The meaning of it, all these LED lights we saw outside mm -hmm. run on battery power like I explained before. This is the switches on and off. So I can literally turn any lights I want and I can drive down the road with the generator off and the lights will still stay on if I want to. That's interesting. So I see here that's the backup camera. Yep, this is the backup camera. You can drive backward and you can hear as well what's going on in the back. You have a sound microphone on the back as well. Right. And what are all this other stuff that's right above your head that hasn't so been completed yet? So we're doing in and out. So we're not done. We do some IT and we're going to be done with it next week. Uh, this one is the sound system. You have four speakers under the truck waterproof of course you got wireless microphone mm -hmm. so you can actually talk on the microphone call your order or anything kind of interact with customers of course you can play music bluetooth whatever this is your dvr for the cameras you will record is a three terabytes you will constantly record the cameras you see on the screen not all of them are up we're gonna run the rest of them monday tuesday this is the camera so you can see them and you can remotely view and you remotely record as well right this is all the controls for the 
exterior LED module, the big LED screens around. Mm -hmm. This is the internet cables to them. And this device right there is controlling it. This is the computer. We're going to mount it as well. It's not done. It's going to be all on this compartment right here. Well, I think you did an awesome job, honey. This Thank is you. amazing. I love it. Thanks for visiting Biz on Wheels. We are number one in North Carolina. So if you would like to have a food truck built as such, please feel free to give us a call. Below me is the telephone number. We also have a website. And locate us on our Facebook page, Instagram as well. Thanks again. Take care.